with news, weather, and information. From TV23 Studios in Sepak, this is High Plains Today. Hi, everybody. You know what? It is Wednesday, March 28th, 2018. This is High Plains Today here on TV23. On today's show, I'm going to be joined by Sergeant First Class Jeremy Fisher and Brian Flores. They are both with Task Force Bronkbuster in Garden City. They got some big news and they got some stuff going on and we're going to talk all about it. So stick around for that. In the meantime, let's see what's happening. According to the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, an 18-year-old Texoma woman fell asleep at the wheel of her vehicle causing an accident that claimed her life. The accident occurred yesterday morning at approximately 6.30, one mile west of Texoma in Texas County. Now, a Buick Regal being driven by Brittany Ann Lage of Texoma was southbound when her vehicle left the road, struck a concrete column, then flipped one half time landing on its top. Lage was ejected from her vehicle. She was transported to the Morton County Hospital in Elkhart where she was pronounced dead. And one person was injured in an accident just after 5 o'clock Monday afternoon in Liberal. The Kansas Highway Patrol reported a Toyota Corolla being driven by 49-year-old Rosa Chavez of Liberal was northbound on Pershing Avenue in Liberal. The driver, she failed to stop at the red light at US 54 in Pershing. A westbound semi driven by Jose Montoya of Hayes collided with the Chavez vehicle. Vehicles came to rest in the westbound lane of US 54. Chavez was transported to the Southwest Medical Center. Montoya was not injured. A former Pratt school secretary was indicted Tuesday on federal firearms charges. 33-year-old Claudia Oviedo, citizens of Mexico, was indicted on two counts of unlawful possession of a firearm by an alien illegally in the United States. Now, the indictment alleges that on November 8th of last year, she possessed a Remington handgun, and 35 rounds of ammunition. Oviedo currently is serving a 12-month sentence after she was convicted in Pratt County District Court on charges of placing a fake bomb threat, USD-382, in Pratt. Now, if convicted, she faces a sentence of up to 10 years in federal prison and a fine of maybe $250,000 on each count. As the trial continued yesterday in the bomb plot case against Gavin Wright, Curtis Allen, and Patrick Stein, the FBI said it found so-called high explosives. The defense pointed out that only a small amount of actual explosives was found. However, the government put forward evidence to show exactly what it found. The evidence included materials like a blasting cap and a detonator. Prosecutors showed the jury pictures of G&G Homes and Liberal, where defendant Gavin Wright worked and say search warrants at the location were necessary based on information given to agents. Now, the defense attorneys in the case questioned whether or not all the evidence collected in search warrants could be found in a typical kitchen. FBI Special Agent Jonathan Tucker pointed out some of the ingredients found at the locations were of a higher grade than would be found in a typical kitchen. Oh, Senate Majority Leader Anthony Hensley, he chastised a colleague yesterday for failing to make progress on a school finance plan in advance of a looming deadline, lecturing them on recent litigation history and urging them to come to grips with reality. During spirited debate, lawmakers revealed an interest in negotiating with school attorneys and expressed ongoing frustration about the hammer wielded by the Kansas Supreme Court. They then rejected Henley's efforts to inject hundreds of millions of dollars into public schools. Now, the legislature, which is scheduled to begin a three-week absence at the end of next week, has until April 30th to submit a proposal in the high court that properly distributes enough money to address concerns with underperforming students. I'm thinking they might want to get after that. Equity Bank Shares Incorporated, the Wichita-based holding company of Equity Bank, announced it has received the necessary federal and state regulatory approvals to complete its mergers with Kansas Bank Corporation, the parent company of First National Bank of Liberal, and Adams Dairy Bank Shares Incorporated. Adams shareholders, as well as KBC shareholders, approved the transaction last week. Equity expects each transaction to close on May 4th. After the merger, Equity will operate 48 bank locations in four states, adding five bank offices 
in southwest Kansas. Those will include the four locations in Liberal and one in Fugiton. And Kansas lawmakers have introduced a new bill that would allow the state fair to leave the city of Hutchinson after more than 100 years. Now, the Hutchinson News reports that Republican Representative Don Schroeder says the bill proposed Monday was inspired by the people involved with the fair who are unhappy with the city. Schroeder says one of the contributing factors to the dissatisfaction is the city stormwater fees, which jump to approximately $50,000 per year. If passed, the bill would require the fair's board to request proposals from other cities in Kansas to host the event. The board would also be required to submit a report detailing the results of the proposals to several legislative committees. Hmm. And good news for Kansas natural gas customers served by Black Hills Energy, who will soon see the benefits of the federal corporate tax rate reduction from 35% to 21%. In cooperation with the Kansas Corporation Commission and the Citizens Utility Rate Payer Board, customers will begin seeing these benefits on their April bills. The average residential customer is expected to see a total of annual benefit of approximately $11 on their energy bills. The tax savings are calculated based on customer type and usage, so the actual benefits received will vary by customer and continue each year until the next rate adjustment. All right, let's look at some of the stuff that's happening out there. You know what? We do have a chance for some dips. precipitation. I'll try and fix my enunciation during the break. Be back with that right after this. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV 23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. The skills you can develop in the Army National Guard can give you an edge in the high-tech job market of tomorrow. The Guard offers career training to take advantage of your interests in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Gain practical experience with emerging technology and equipment that you can transfer to an exciting new field. Get a head start on your career while serving part-time and earning money to pay for college. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about all of the STEM career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. Hi, I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So what is barter anyway? Midwest Barter helps you trade what you have for what you really need. You can use Midwest Barter Dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Find out more at our website or call 785-383-4965. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. Yes, they look like debt. Warm dough for that. <laughs> He's picking up the phone. Probably calling his uncle to borrow money. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no, not Consolidated Credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They pay off their debt in no time. Put down the phone! Put down the phone! Order a pizza! With extra red sauce! That consolidated credit makes it too quick and easy to get rid of us! Thanks to consolidated credit, there can be life after that? Call consolidated credit now and get your life back. Because debt sucks! Call 1 800 357 5733. 800 357 5733. That's 800 357 5733. Call now! Now, the local weather forecast for the High Plains. Hey, you know what? The last couple days, we didn't see this blue sky out there. Let's look off over to the northeast and metropolitan sublet. Let's take a look at the uh, readings here at the station. Right now, it's 53 degrees. Not bad. 55% the relative humidity. We've been hanging in that 40 50% range here lately. Winds are out of the southwest at 7. Barometric pressure is holding steady. Looking at the current temperatures around the viewing area, yep, this is another one of them days you throw a blanket over all of them. 
55 the high in liberal, Lamar, Perryton, and then you get all the other mid 50s to lower 50s around the viewing area. Now current dew points, everybody around that 50 degree area, you can see by the dew point temperatures, a little higher maybe over in Medicine Lodge, but not too much. Winds, not bad out there today. Got variable winds out in Lamar, all the way, everybody else pretty much southerly to southwesterly winds, the highest winds right now, 12 in Liberal and in Hayes. Looking at the highs and lows as recorded at the Garden City Regional Airport, got 52 yesterday, a little short of 84 back in 1988. 34 was the recorded low yesterday morning, 12 back in 1955. No new precipitation in the bucket. We're still at 33 hundredths for the year. Okay, we're going to warm up today. Not going to be much wind. This will be a nice day to get outside. 64, sunshine, south winds out of the west and switching around to the west about 7 to 10 miles an hour. Now, tonight we do have a 40% chance of some precipitation. Don't be surprised if you see, if we do get this, if you see a snow flurry or two in there because some of the cooler temperatures, calling for 35 for the low, but some of the colder spots could see some white stuff, but it's not going to mount to anything. Winds are going to switch around to the north-northeast at about 22. Then tomorrow, we still have that 20% chance of precipitation hanging around the morning. High tomorrow, only 56, but then the sun's going to come out, warm things up. Winds are going to stay out of the north at about 15. Cool down to freezing tomorrow night, 32 degrees, partly cloudy. Winds are still going to be out of the northerly direction, but towards morning, they'll switch around to the south-southeast. All right, as we get into the seven-day, you can see we start to warm up again, and then the roller coaster goes downhill because on Easter Sunday we're going to have a high of 50, and it's going to be mostly cloudy. We do have a chance of some precipitation Monday night into Tuesday morning. It's going to warm back up on Tuesday at 70. All right, let's see where our good friend Jeff Hutton, National Weather Service, what he is doing with Storm Spotter training today. It's going to be in Pratt at the community center, and then tomorrow he's going to Dighton. He'll be at the courthouse. Next week on Wednesday, he'll be in Kinsley at the 4-H building, and then on Thursday, he'll be in Coldwater at the City Hall, and then on Monday, April 9th, guess what? He's going to go to Medicine Lodge. He'll be at the Annex there. All right, that's a look at the weather. Stick around. I'm going to be back with the First Sergeant and Brian right after this. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-521-3583. That's 1-800-521-3583. College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. That's Independence University. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. 1-800-274-8142. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. He's picking up the phone. Oh, no, not consolidated credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They'll pay off their debt in no time. Call consolidated credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 1-800-380-8565. That's 800-380-8565. Call now. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a 
a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dentists have provided over $330 million in free dental work. Free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it is something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. Welcome back. I'm joined in studio today by, all right, I promoted him during the, the tease. It's Sergeant First Class Jeremy Fisher and Brian Flores. They are both with the Kansas Army National Guard Project Bronkbuster, which is a program with Garden City Community College. Did I get all that right? Yes. What did I mess up besides I gave you a promotion? It's a partnership between <laughs> Garden City Community College and the Kansas Army National Guard that allows our uh, enlisted soldiers to attend college while uh, serving their state. So, and in doing this, they can work towards a degree. So, the the newest news that we have. Okay, now wait, let's go. Because when this project first broke, what, year and a half, two years ago? Two years ago. You, can't, you and the Major Schmidt came on and we talked about this program, how, you know, soldiers could go to school in Garden City, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, they've expanded. We have more news. Yes. Okay, now. Go our, ahead. our latest news is uh, we've, uh, Garden City Community College has entered a partnership with Pittsburgh State University out of Pittsburgh, Kansas, to offer uh, ROTC classes, so the Reserve Officer Training Corps, so uh, students can work towards a uh, commission if they so desire, so they can do their freshman, sophomore years, uh, ROTC classes here at Garden City, and then transfer to Pittsburgh State to finish up their, their junior and senior years, and then uh, hopefully apply and, and get accepted for a commission in the Army, the regular Army, the Army National Guard, or the Army Reserves. That's where that guy comes in. He's one of your, he's, he's in the, you're, Brian, you're in the, the, ROTC at Garden City Community College, right? Yes, sir. And you're a freshman this year. Yes, sir. So, and you're looking to go to Pittsburgh, aren't you? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. He serves me. I told him he didn't have to do that. <laughs> I don't even have the uniform on. All right, but that's okay. I just have to give you a hard time. Okay, so, because this is, this is a brand new deal that you just started then, isn't it? Yes, This is the latest, it. greatest. Yes, it just started last fall. So, we're in our second semester right now of our first year teaching it, so... It's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, a lot of it's still, we're still growing. So, and as we grow, we're, we're bringing more opportunities to the Garden City area as well. So is there any other community colleges out here that have a program, you know, let's say west of Wichita, that have a program like this? No, this is the only program west of Wichita that offers the ROTC at a community college. All right. This is a big deal. Take note, people. Garden City Community College, ROTC, transfer to Pittsburgh. Huh, there you go. That's an easy deal. All right. Okay, but you got some other stuff going on too. You guys have been busy. You're utilizing these ROTC guys, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Part of uh, part of their requirements is a leadership uh, review. So every uh, semester, I need to evaluate the ROTC cadets on leadership. So uh, this year, we got approved uh, to install a land nav course, a land navigation course, which is uh, it's a course with points on it to where a person can navigate with a map and compass, uh, kind of like a GPS. This would be without, okay, you have to do this course without your phone, mm -hmm. right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so this is the old days. Yeah, right? the old the pioneering old days. Yeah. So we're installing this course uh, on the college campus uh, for Task Force Bronkbuster and our ROTC as well. Uh, we started installing in February, and we intentionally left it uh, incomplete. So, yes. So our intent is is to bring uh, like-minded leadership-orientated organizations onto the college campus to help us finish it up. 
uh, the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, we have two local troops coming in. That's right, yes. Uh, to work towards a orienteering merit badge. So it's one of the uh, harder to get merit badges because it requires uh, support. To find your way around without a cell phone. Yes, <laughs> it requires supplies. That's what I'm sticking to. It requires supplies to finish. And since we have these supplies, you know, why not invite, invite the Boy Scouts onto the course and, and assist them in getting this merit badge? Okay. So in doing this, uh, Task Force Bronkbuster is going to turn the reins over to the ROTC cadets on college, and then also the JROTC from Guard City High School will be coming out. See, I didn't know that until you told me that earlier today. The Garden City High School has a junior ROTC program, mm -hmm. as well as the middle school has uh, the middle a school. Yes, the middle school has a junior leadership course or core, which is uh, it promotes leadership in the local communities, so in the neighborhood communities. So it's also a leadership oriented course too. So okay. the junior leader core is a, a gateway to the JROTC uh, there at the high school. So. Uh, you don't need it, but it really it helps when, well, when you yeah, take that it's like next step Yeah, up. it's like taking another class mm -hmm. or another course. Okay. So then once you get into the ROTC at Garden City Community College, that's where Brian comes in, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. So, Brian, you're going to help now. And by the way, this is going to be on Saturday the 7th. 7th, starting at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock, and you're going to have uh, like a classroom. Well, you're going to... It's not going to be a. It's going to be a tent room, right? You're going to oh, have a tent. Yes, uh, where the National Guard <laughs> is providing uh, the teaching atmosphere, so we're bringing in some tents, tables, classrooms. Uh, it'll be a field environment, so there won't be any electricity. So we'll have whiteboards and and uh, butcher block paper to give the the uh, Boy Scouts classes in the morning, and then we'll break for lunch. Uh, pizza Hut has provided uh, uh, pizza for the Boy Scouts oh, good for them. over the lunch. And then in the afternoon, uh, we'll release the hounds onto the course. Release the hounds. So, and then uh, this. That's where Brian comes in, yeah. right? Yeah. He's going to wrangle them kids. So we'll, we'll chaperone the event and provide logistical support so the JROTC and ROTC can, can make this event happen for the Boy Scouts. All right. So when we talk about the environment for the classroom, I mean, this isn't going to be. Your little, okay, we're going to Sam's Club or Home Depot or whatever and buying the little pop-ups, right? These are going to be Army issue, big old green canvas tents, right? Yes. It, uh, you'll, there you go. You'll be able to see them from afar. And then we have some <laughs> military vehicles that we're going to bring in to okay. provide uh, communications. So we'll have uh, safeties on the course in case somebody gets injured. Uh, we can uh, respond to that situation with vehicles and uh, radios. Okay. All right, so Brian, when they when they when we release the hounds, the the Boy Scouts, you're going to be helping instruct them, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so what's that going to involve? It's going to involve a different classes, such as identifying terrain features, learning how to use a, a compass for one, learning how to they use an azimuth, different fields. Wait a minute, that are what? Look, they're learning how to use an azimuth. Thank you. How, Explain. An azimuth is basically <laughs> basically how you're going to, how you're going to point, what degree you're going to point okay, yourself in. Okay, thank you. It's like, see, if I was doing this, I'm telling you, I would be the guy out there with my cell phone going, I don't have a reception, I'm, I don't know what to do. But overall, the kids are going to have fun, or excuse me, the Boy Scouts are going to have fun, <laughs> we're going to have a fun time instructing them. Overall, it's going to be a, a great deal. Okay. So is that what some of the classroom stuff in the tent is going to be about, is yes. learning how to use the compass and what you're looking at? And I never understood, okay, so because the compass points to magnetic north, right? Yes. That way. All right, so how do you, I mean, what, on a, if I'd show up on Saturday morning, the 7th, I'd know, wouldn't I? Yeah, this would be a great opportunity. You come in and we set you down. We reserve a seat for you. So uh, as you look at a map, you figure out where you want to, to go, and then you determine the degrees or the heading that you wish to follow. Okay. So, and then your compass points to north, and you orientate to your, your path that you want to take. And then uh, the distance on that map is, is how far you should walk. So, and that's done with your pace count. So, okay, so they're going to have to use the compass and find out where they're going. Then they're going to have to go from point A to point B mm -hmm. to points. They're going to do what, five? Yeah, five they're, they're testing. Uh, one of the requirements for their merit badge is to navigate to five points in under two hours. Okay. So, and they need to do this three consecutive times. So, 
uh, our JROTC and ROTC cadets will be rep record keeping for them okay. throughout the day as well. So if somebody wants to come by and watch, can they do that on Saturday? Oh, yes. Uh, All right, so this is going to be Saturday, April 7th, 8 o'clock, and they're gonna, after lunch they're going to go out and start walking around, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, this will be back behind the football field. Okay. So And then this whole program was... Oh, you got to hurry. Forget to hurry. <laughs> Brian's yelling at me. This whole program <laughs> was put together by uh, uh, the president of the college, Dr. Swinder, and then uh, the... Ma uh, the what if everything worked like those other guys? Welcome to Awesome Burgers. If you would like to place an order, press Please hold. You will be connected to the next available drive to attendant. Please place your order. Uh, yeah, I get it. For press 1. For orange soda, press 7. For fries, press 15. For tomatoes, press 2. For ten, you have pressed an incorrect button. Please hold. Welcome to Awesome Burgers. If you would like to place an order... At Pioneer Communications, you can talk to a real person ready to help. Call today for service you can rely on. Hi, I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So what is barter anyway? Midwest Barter helps you trade what you have for what you really need. You can use Midwest Barter Dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Find out more on our website or call 785-383-4965. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. Yes, they look like debt. Warm delivery. He's ah. <laughs> speaking up the phone. Probably calling his uncle to borrow money. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no, not Consolidated Credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They pay off their debt in no time. Put down the phone! Put down the phone! Order a pizza! With extra red sauce! That Consolidated Credit makes it too quick and easy to get rid of us! Thanks to Consolidated Credit, there can be life after that? Call Consolidated Credit now and get your life back. Because debt sucks! Call 1-800-357-5733. 800-357-5733. That's 800-357-5733. Call now! And we're back. Okay, now, I'm going to finish this up. Saturday, April 7th, 8 o'clock is when they're going to start. But if you want to go out and watch them in the afternoon, park on the east side of the college football field, follow the footpath, across the bridge, boom, there they are, all right? Go out and check that out. Let's take a last look at our weather before we get out of here. Temperatures, 55 degrees. Relative humidity still hanging in there, 52. Winds, not bad. South, southeast at 4. Ooh, the barometric pressure is starting to fall. As we look at seven day, now we do have a chance of some precipitation, maybe tonight. And then we're going to warm up a little bit, cool off on Sunday. More rain next week. Go out and have a great day, everybody. See you next time. Keep up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, KDGL TV. Hi, I'm Nick Baumgartner, owner of Midwest Barter Exchange. So, what is barter anyway? When we were kids, things were much simpler. Trading one thing for another was something we did at school on a daily basis. As a kid, you didn't have the cash resources to get things you wanted, but you still managed through barter. In today's economy, not every business has the cash required to grow effectively. Prospecting is difficult and time-consuming, leading you to believe things like, I don't have cash to entertain my clients and prospects. There is no money for marketing and advertising, or fixing my work truck for a new website, social media, Printing cards and brochures, mass mailers, accounting, taxes, bookkeeping, consultants, PC repair, dental, radio, TV, legal, alarm system, catering, mechanical, parking, office equipment, repair, electricians, networking, medical bills, website, graphic designers, PCs, iPhones, Macs, headshot, plumbing, mechanics, signage, sales training, landscaping, surveillance cameras, leaking roof, and the list goes on. Realizing that running a business can be expensive, many owners and managers have tried to exchange their goods and services for something that they need. Sometimes it works out well. But focusing on trying to make a direct trade is not the best use of your time. Barter Exchange takes that struggle away and allows your business to utilize trade in the form of a one-to-many scenario as opposed to trading directly with another business. We act as a brokerage and marketing firm for companies to grow their business. We can help match businesses to each other with the best fit possible, even if it doesn't mean trading directly with each other. Okay, but how do we keep track of our trade dollars? You can also consider us like a bank, but instead of using cash currency, 
We utilize barter exchange dollars. At Midwest Barter, better barter means better business for all of us. You can use Midwest Barter dollars to purchase hundreds of products for your business or personal use without the use of cash. You can even trade for TV advertising right here on KDGL TV 23. Portions of TV23's Internet provided by SWKO Wireless Internet. Covering the high plains with news, weather, and...